Hello Gemini, welcome to your soulmate reading. So before anything, like this video if you want the bonus this weekend, Gemini. Uh, so yeah, the bonus are more general, but today we're focusing on love. We'll see what comes out. Uh, as always, you might not connect with the message. If you do, press a like. The comments are going to be off for a little while, just the time that I deal with the scammers because oh god, it's it's been it's been quite something to manage the scammers on my page. Okay, I'm done rambling, Gemini. The general energy is the Hierophant, so beautiful energy. It could be long-term commitment. Also, you could be focusing on yourself right now, feeling like you are your own soulmate, definitely feeling like you have the power. You really want to take the time to feel good about yourself, you know, taking care of your money, of your body, of your stability before maybe focusing on someone else. So it could be about that, but it could also be potential for a long term commitment. Let me pick a moonology card before we start with the tarot. Take time to breathe out, okay? So definitely some of you are trying to just chill at the moment. Maybe you just got out of a serious relationship. Um, you want to take it easy. Maybe right now it's a time for you to flirt and have fun and enjoy yourself. And I like that. Let's see what the tarot has to say, Gemini, for you. I've been really... Uh, Sensing these independent vibe from Gemini recently. Um, I'm curious to see what the tarot has to say. Okay. So we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Things are moving slow, but definitely you're really particular who you want to give your energy to. I feel like... It doesn't take much for you to feel burned out. People get on your nerve easily. It's because you have high standards. And of course you have high standards, Gemini. You are all about the mind. And, you know, when we are an air sign, we're not just going to settle because someone is good looking, because someone has money. We need someone who turns us on with our with their minds, okay? We have the chariot here. So the chariot is a lot about kind of a graduation. It doesn't have, of course, to be about school. It feels like it's a next step in your life, okay? Um, I do feel like you're more focused on having fun right now. You, probably you ended up, you know, a long-term commitment. Uh, some days you feel like you want to commit. Some days you feel like it's just too much. And you're just trying to find balance. You're just trying to be happy at the moment. You don't necessarily want to focus on uh, other people's need. And I really get that. You're looking for the one. I do feel like you're looking for the one. Okay. Tell me more for Gemini. Yeah, three of cups. It's an important time for you, definitely. You've probably been through some kind of a rebirth, okay? Feeling like you are at crossroad. I do feel like you could be carrying with you some past wounds, some past energy. Maybe you are still attached to, you know, energetically to a past person. I'm not saying you're still in love with them, but there's someone who you considered your soulmate. And it's like the connection, the attraction is just undeniable. And you're not going to just throw that away, you know, and put your feelings on off just like that. It just, it's not working. I do feel like there's still someone in your heart space and I feel like it's someone from the past. I do feel like they come and go energetically. I don't know if they've been manifesting you, if they've been... Uh, doing things for you to notice them online, but they definitely come and go. We see you have two tens here. Every time you think it's over, 
they come back either with a message, either, uh, it's really weird. I do feel like it's a really special person for you. Someone who knows you deeply. They know you more than no one ever really uh, got to know you. So it could be a past long-term commitment. Gemini, are you still thinking about this person? They're really coming out a lot in that reading. There is huge potential for long-term. But something happened. I think they... They burns you out. It could be someone that is just incredibly needy, um, incredibly intense. There's a feeling of you wanting to give up at one point. This person always come back. They have the fire inside them. They're not only so attracted to you, but I think that deep down, they still have a lot of love for you and a lot of hope for the future. This person is in their head constantly about you. They're dreaming about you and I think they're telling you that. They're always making sure you're aware that they still love you. That they will never love someone, someone else as much as they love you. And it could be really draining. You know, wanting to move out of that, wanting to create a new life for yourself. This person always come back. Um, I'm going to be honest, definitely if you've been single and you don't connect with the message from a past person. If you feel like you lost everything at one point with this past person, that in your mind, in your soul, in your heart, it's completely over. There is definitely a potential to meet someone uh, during cancer season and cancer season is right now okay um, like summertime definitely I do feel like there is a potential to meet someone it will start by flirt it will start by just you know hanging out kind of a friendship and it could evolve to something really deep but I still feel like a past person will always be back, uh, especially if there's a cycle that isn't close. See, we have a double here uh, to confirm what I was just saying. So definitely someone connects to that message. Okay, let's clarify the Ten of Wands. Why are you so dreamed out? Yeah. You're trying to move on. You're just wishing for a new beginning. And maybe some of you have been looking in a new partner. Um, and I'm not calling you out, my love, okay? It's not about calling you out. I feel like, yes, you have really high standards. But I do feel like the things that turn you on in a relationship, the things that you're looking for, could be some of the same things that... You know, in the past, you looked for in that other person. For some reason, I'm feeling that. They're just your type. You definitely have a type, my love. Um, hmm, really particular message coming through. I do feel someone new will be communicating with you. Something new will be coming your way. It could be a cancer Another Gemini for some reason. Um, okay, let me put more. I need clarification. I need clarity on this reading. Yeah. You want to receive love. You're kind of learning right now how to receive love because I do feel like it feels uncomfortable. It does feel uncomfortable. You've been manifesting something, you know what you want. And, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, she's done manifesting. She is living the things that she's been dreaming of and manifesting in the past. So I do feel like definitely things are kind of taking a sudden turn. Someone is suddenly going to come into your life, literally. And I think 
things are gonna evolve pretty quickly. So in the beginning, I felt, you know, this past person energy, yeah. This is the biggest yes in the tarot. This as a reader to me confirms what I was saying. In the beginning, I was like, okay, who's this past person? Why is their energy uh, in this reading? Um, intuitively, I, 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 I felt so weird. I feel like even if you're not looking for love right now, something's gonna suddenly happen. Like this is a sudden new connection really powerful when it comes to energies someone that you connect with i'm hearing we love the same music we love the same movies we love the same tv series we love the same shit we love the same type of fashion the same type of like you guys are going to connect on things that are more artistic and it's all coming back to the mind they will be seducing you with their mind. This person's gonna help you heal a lot of things from the past. They're finally gonna bring some hope back into your life when it comes to love. Really powerful. Um, they make you believe again. They make you believe in love again. And I feel like you're gonna be able to close completely the past cycle. And it does feel good to see that. Um, I think you're going to be willing to put in the time, the energy, work to make this situation solid, you know, uh, building things on strong foundation because in the past, chances are you didn't do that or didn't even get the chance to do that with your ex-partner or it could, it doesn't have to be your ex, it could be like your past relationships. Um, I do feel like you'll learn a lot of lesson and now you're a lot clearer about what you want. You know that good things, they take time and you're willing to put in the effort. See, this is the third ace, guys. There's definitely a brand new beginning, beginning in love and it feels so freaking powerful. I think you're going to be building a long term life, solid life with someone who is really grounded, really loving, um, really nurturing, but not in a clingy way. But again, it all comes from you falling in love with their mind. Yeah, I love that. The hangman in that situation confirms that when I was saying that this person will connect with you on Fashion, music, movie, beauty, everything that is related to art, okay? The hangman is the artist of the tarot. He's a writer, poet. He could be, you know, drawing, a tattoo artist, anything. Someone who lives life by their own rule. And this is going to be really, really attractive to you. Like, you're going to find, find out, sorry, really sexy. That they just live their life the way they want it to. Um, there's something really nice about it. It could be someone who is highly spiritual also, someone who has a calling of working with spirituality, divination. And I think that at first you're not gonna notice that, but it's the more you talk with them, you're gonna find out how spiritual they are. Really cool connection. Nine of Swords. Yeah. We go from being anxious all the time, dreaming about the other person, feeling like we lost our time, being in our head completely and constantly about someone, to finally celebrating love, to finally going with the flow, feeling like, okay, it was meant to be. Um, these cards are really positive, but it all comes from a tower moment. You lost everything at one point when it comes to love. And now you're getting the real deal, Gemini. Really powerful energy. I do feel like it could be two Gemini together for some reason. I don't know. Like we had uh, two times the lover's card. It feels really powerful. And of course, seeing the Hierophant as general energy. It could mean uh, a really 
significant commitment and i like that it makes me happy okay gemini thank you for being here like this video if you want the bonus enjoy open your heart open your eyes there's something really cool happening for you uh it's the summer of love definitely for you okay bye gemini